Sandfire, a dynamic Australian mining company whose rapid emergence from junior explorer to mid-tier miner over the past four years has set new industry benchmarks. From its sensational discovery in 2009, the De Grusser Copper Project, located 900 kilometres north of Perth in Western Australia, is today one of the Asia-Pacific region's premier high-grade copper mines, producing clean, high-quality copper concentrates, which are highly sought after in global markets. Construction and development of the De Grusa project was completed on time and on budget, at a total cost of approximately $400 million, with the project moving from discovery through resource drill-out, feasibility, financing and construction to first production in just over three years. This remarkable achievement has propelled Sandfire into the ranks of leading mid-tier copper producers, with production to date of over 70,000 tonnes of copper and revenue of over half a billion dollars, a stunning result for shareholders. This includes some 34,000 tonnes of copper in direct shipping ore, which was mined from the initial open pit mining operation. This material had a spectacular average grade of 24% copper. At the heart of the De Grusa operation is a highly efficient underground mine, accessed via the Evans decline. The underground mine plan comprises over 38 kilometres of lateral development, enabling Sandfire to simultaneously extract ore from multiple faces across the four main deposits. Underground development is proceeding on schedule, with the Evans decline completed after advancing over two kilometres from the portal, and multiple stopes now developed in the De Grusa and Conductor 1 deposits. Total underground development now exceeds 13 kilometres. The next key phase of underground development began during the June 2013 quarter, with development of both the Conductor 1 decline and the Conductor 4-5 decline to continue access to the deeper parts of the Conductor 1 deposit and provide access to the Conductor 4 and 5 deposits. The developments of these new declines will ensure that De Grusa can deliver ore from multiple underground sources, providing stability and consistency of production in the long term. It will also facilitate the establishment of underground diamond drilling platforms, from which extensions and potential repeats of the deeper deposits can be targeted. Sulfide ore from the underground mine is fed to the 1.5 million tonne per annum De Grusa concentrator, which can produce up to 300,000 tonnes of high-grade copper concentrate annually. Other infrastructure and services on site include a tailing storage facility, power station, paste plant for the underground mine, a sealed two-kilometre airstrip, a mine village, NextG mobile phone service and fibre optic communications, office buildings, assay laboratory and sealed access roads. The De Grusa Copper Project was officially opened on Sunday the 4th of August 2013 by the Premier of Western Australia, the Honourable Colin Barnett at a ceremony attended by over 200 key stakeholders who came together to celebrate one of the great success stories of Australian exploration and mining in recent years. Involved. I'm delighted to declare open the Sandfire Resources, our De Grusa Copper Mine. The De Grusa Copper Mine is forecast to produce between 65 and 75,000 tonnes of copper plus significant gold credits in the 2014 financial year, making it Western Australia's largest copper producer. And with forecast C1 cash operating costs for the 2014 financial year between $1.05 and $1.15 US per pound, 
it is amongst the lowest cost producers in the world. Sandfire plans to build on the strong cash flows being generated at Negrusa to create the foundations for a diversified Australian mining company with a sustainable growth future. Near mine exploration is already delivering significant results, with surface drilling this year underpinning a significant increase in mineral resources to 634,000 tonnes of contained copper and 795,000 ounces of contained gold net of mining depletion. Sandfire is also exploring aggressively along the mine corridor within its broader 400 square kilometre tenement holding at De Grusa, using sophisticated exploration techniques to unlock the next generation of VMS discoveries. Sandfire remains confident about the long-term demand outlook for copper in the global economy as continued robust and sustainable economic growth in China and Asia and the recovery of the US economy underpins demand for the most important industrial metal. While Sandfire remains committed to organic growth through exploration at De Grusa, the company is also pursuing attractive new business development opportunities Australia-wide and internationally including a series of low-risk, low-cost farm-in joint ventures and exploration alliances. By maintaining a strong focus on quality, integrity, safety and shareholder returns, Sandfire believes it can continue to enjoy the stunning success it has seen to date and unlock its next chapter of growth. <laughs>